Okay. Here we go. Check to make sure it's broadcasting properly. Okay, awesome. All right, everything's set up, so let's do this. All right, welcome to another edition of Stilt Streams. Uh, this time I am taking a look at uh, Telltale's new game, The Wolf uh, Fables, The Wolf Among Us. Uh, I have actually read quite a few of the Fables comment, uh, comics thanks to my uh, public library stocking several of the uh, uh, graphic novel collections. So I have read the storyline from the beginning up to a little past where the whole enemy arc is kind of over. Um, so I do know a bit about the actual comics and so I have some background, but I figure I won't really explain all that since, uh, unless it becomes relevant since I have a feeling the game is going to do a bit of that itself and I wouldn't really want to repeat anything. So without further ado, let's get in this. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Could have sworn I turned on subtitles. do that when I, get, when I get a good chance. I'm afraid that pressing the start button might skip this cutscene. <laughs> has really improved their graphic legend. Like, it looked pretty good in Walking Dead, but this looks even better. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Okay, good. Subtitles are Just cut on. me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fucking hell! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. 
You're just gonna stand there? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you. All right, so I handled that like furry prick kind of a dick right Tell there. Me spend my money. <laughs> Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hmm. Hey, look at me! Just stop, okay? Just won't. Let go. Alright. Let's be polite. Damn you! No way! Whoa, whoa, now, whoa! Punk. Hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! All right, what's going on? Here? Oh well, that does it. You're going down, buddy. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again, Woody. This is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You gotta calm down. Interesting. Had enough? A fucking challenge. Back off, asshole. <laughs> Yes, the sink. Always choose the sink. Oh. Fucking glutton for punishment. Fuck you. Alright, start the bed, I guess. has sort of made me question quick time events and their necessities. I'm never sure what quick time events are required or not now. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Hey. Can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. Oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, 
You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from. Girl. Yeah, I'm a cop. There's Knock no way I'm off. just gonna ask one question. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. What are you doing here? These lips are sealed. Oh uh, yeah, that's not gonna cut it. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Oh. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! Well, uh, that's one way to end the conversation, I guess. Probably not the smartest way. <laughs> Apparently the people of Fable Town are pretty Hate resilient, though, my so. Car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help. Things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Future of 1996. Are you kidding me? Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. <laughs> He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. gotten really proficient at graphically detailing putting axes in brains. That sure as hell. Come on. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry.
Hey, you like my ribbon? If you don't answer my questions, I can't help you. I'm answering them the best that I can. I feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. Well, sucker is resilient. Shit. Oh, that license plate is amazing. <laughs> Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. What Just can I say? I'm a take sucker. Take money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. Uh, that's know where not I exactly professional. You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. Then again, I suppose up. Bigby's not very he professional. Like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. Wow. Tell me what you really think. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. The uh, time description is just late. Yeah, I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Oh yeah, we actually have a walk faster button now. The right trigger. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that.
sometimes be a disciplinary. Ah, uh, yes, good old Snow White. One of my favorite characters from the comics. Hi, Hantera. I'm, how are you doing? I'm doing well. <laughs> There's no walking on the grass, no White's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Uh, he worries too much as it is, and uh, it would just make that. my life a lot easier. Just please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It's not what you might be thinking. What do I have to do to get a person who talks straight for once? That's asking for a little less mystery. Is that too much for a wolf to ask for? Telltale working on their dynamic camera angles, that's nice. Hey, you wink? Hmm, probably for the best. She needs to dust this guy. That is an ostentatious suit of armor. <laughs> dust cloud. Been a while since I got any mail. Alright. Seventh day in a row. Poor Bigby, so lonely. No one ever writes him. Beast is at 301A. Anything else to check here? Ah, camera. Apparently can't go that way. And that's another boundary. Okay, so what's to do is take the elevator, I guess. Oh, wait, what's this? Damn thing fell off again. Oh, what? Can I, I, can I not pick it up? Oh, I see. How much longer is this gonna go on? Anyway, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry, elevator. Oh. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Uh. So, have you? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Sorry, be staying out of this. Aw, <laughs> uh, no elevator music.
<laughs> Damn. Should have cracked a window. Ah, uh, yeah, let all that pink neon in. Get some mood lighting. <laughs> oh, that water. Uh, I love video game water. It looks so silly. Forgetful for a sheriff. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Is that is that bacon? I can't, I can't imagine what else it would be. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Never trust a wizard. Probably a bad sign. Uh, oh, that's a boundary. Oh yeah, let's turn the fan on. Should help. Who's... Oh. <sighs> oh. Not again. Hey, Colin. Get up. Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I've only got the one. So yeah. <laughs> it's pretty incredible that Telltale is able to accurately animate a lethargic pig. Got a smoke? <laughs> Thanks. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Calm down. I'm not sending you back. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. So, everyone hates me. Nah, I'm just giving you shit. I'm doing my best here. Clearly that is not true. What with the selfishness with the bourbon. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. Okay, but seriously, this time. You it think wasn't my, my job fault. is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. 
How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Beauty. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I kept her from making a bad situation worse. Right. Yeah. That's real nice of you. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut-eye before I... Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. Ah, uh, pig strikes a hard bargain. Oh, God, I'm gonna need to clean that. With bleach. No. What? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. Oh, for we crying need to out hurry loud. To... Can't anyone I... give me a straight answer? Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Uh... What the hell was that about? These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. She looks familiar. I can't place her though. A working girl? A working girl? I don't I mean, I'm a working oh. Woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. 
I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. All right. Time to gather evidence. What is? Yeah. It's. A ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Alright, let's check the room. Oh, what did oh, this to her? Thanks, Telltale. What could do something like that? Thanks for that close up. Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. <sighs> Vorpal blade, maybe? She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed. For us to find. What kind of monster would do this? <sighs> I'm... I'm sorry. This is just... so surreal. Um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Alright, there's gotta... if he came here, there's gotta be something around. Check the sides. I can find a weapon... Exit path... Drops of blood. There we go. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. I was hoping too much. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Nobody there. Well, you didn't really... Wasn't really thorough, Big B. You sort of just, like, glanced at him. Alright, that just shows me that. Okay. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Let's hope so. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? How did this happen? Why her? Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But 
How do you know? I found blood on the fence, back there. Someone hopped over. Okay, good. That's solid. So, someone from the outside. Well, at least they didn't come from inside the woodlands. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <sighs> I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Time for some forensics. What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Back off, Ichabod. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fabletown. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. I already hate this. Tell theory. me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. I just found any out, shred like, half of an hour evidence ago. you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fabletown knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Seriously? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, uh. sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. She's probably right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh. Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <laughs> Screw him. Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Oh, monkey. Buffkin! 
hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? It hasn't been a great morning, Buffkin. Sorry. Eh, not your fault. Thanks for asking, though. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. <laughs> Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Yeah, sure, why not? I That's really have to get this mirror. appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White, Mr. Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Well, that's helpful. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Radio then. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. in all forms. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. My buddy. The Woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Yeah, the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. I bet Red Riding Hood doesn't miss me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. 
The less said about that, the better. Never trust a dwarf. Colin and his brothers. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Ah, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. Buffkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> Here we go. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairo? I'll go look it up. Alerlairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as... <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> I prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin. We don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. Ooh. Huh. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey. That would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No. I don't, but we need to let him know about his wife. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. But first, there's a magic lamp I want to try here. A try. Oh well. Oh. You know what this means? I can show him the magic, the tarot well, card. Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Uh huh. All right. You're helpful. Mirror, mirror, blah blah, able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? All right. This is a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. Oh, I do not like What's the look of doing? that. I do not where is this? Like the look Where's of that. what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Just give me a second here. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Oh, okay, well then. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. 
Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. Wait, what? What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Huh. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? There's something yeah. weird going on here. I'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes? I... He is? Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Bigby! It's me, Poe. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, time to go. What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. I don't know about that. I think we should go Whenever to Toad you're first. Whenever you're ready. But... Prince looked pretty dead. I wonder if they're gonna give me a choice. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Yeah, well, I don't think he's going where to anywhere. first. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Code sounds place. like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. Whoa, that's a sizable hole. Is somebody up there? Hey! Ah, I should have stayed here. silent. Silence is an option. Shit. I'm sorry. That's enough, all right? Just shut it. Son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad! You in there? <laughs> Big B! And Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. No, uh, not when I checked. <laughs> Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Yeah, you're lying. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. There 
was someone, but they took off when we got here. Is that right? I guess your dad's ears have a year or two left. Haven't gone totally to the dogs, eh? <coughs> Excuse me. Are you all right? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. Uh, yeah, no. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Whew. Grown-ups. Am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. I can't remember what a weevil is. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing sods and swordfish. Who knows with the lad? Locks busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. That's fascinating. <laughs> it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. That's blood. Bleeding. Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Didn't realize that super healing was a frog power. There's more blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. It's been the hottest summer in years, Toad, so why would you be making a fire? Stay in this place for more than a spell, and a draft will make you think you're in a sodding tantra. Oh, look it out, so what's the fuss? I thought toads can dry out. No, mate, you're thinking of lizards. Ah, oh, dang it. I should have. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. This apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. I screwed up the questioning.
What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened, I... No. There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night, when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Problem. Yeah. Exactly. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? I think I could nail him on this, though. Okay, Sheriff. Now what? Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so... Why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Uh, that blood thing is gonna bite me in the ass, I just know it. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. The lamp. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? It's the lamp. <laughs> Feels like Phoenix are right. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running. Didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Because it wasn't on that table, Toad. There isn't any room in the electric outlets. Huh? What are you... It's plugged in over here. Now it's there. I did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? And not plug it in? Come on, Toad. I just hadn't gotten around to it yet. You see how many damn plugs there are? Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... this sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad? Well, I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Uh -huh. Toad, you're bleeding. There we go. Take off the hat. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. Mm. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, well, Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, <laughs> uh sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. 
All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Ah, the donkey skin. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Don't make it a dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Well, I guess I should have searched upstairs first before coming down here. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. It's always Thanks. Uh, see ya. It's always difficult to tell when Telltale games are gonna rush you around. Oh well. Does it always go that smoothly? Not often. So, the prince's now? Lawrence's, yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Uh, that's gonna probably bite me in the ass, too. Oh, well. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mondays, maybe. But this is different. Can you hear me? <laughs> Whoa, yeah, he's dead. Oh my god. Go get Dr. Swinehart. I'll stay with No! Him. No. Let me go. She... What is it that you're telling us? Water. Bigby, water. Kitchen. Power walk, Bigby. Ah. Mm. Wait, hold on. Did you find it yet? Sorry. I lingered on that note far longer than I thought I would. If you have something to ask him, you should do it now. Who did this to you? <laughs> Faith. Oh. That's not good. <sighs> what happened to her? His head? It's like a big ass hole there. Do you still have that letter? 
Yes. Should I open it? I'm not sure if it's right. You should. There might be something that helps us. A clue. Or a lead. I need to know. What does it say? I'm sorry. Faith. It's only two words. But he died without seeing them. I'm sorry too. We need to figure out what happened here, and find whoever did this. That knife looks magical. The mirror showed me this. Maybe I should have come here first. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Huh. Why couldn't he sleep? <laughs> what is it? This gun wasn't fired recently. Maybe a week ago. Or more. Man, it must be nice to be able to have such a good sniffer. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Doesn't really help. Hmm. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Right back out of this view. Bullet passed through the chair. Oh, shot him through the head. Yeah. The angle works if you shot him himself. But it wasn't used in a week or more, so he probably didn't shoot himself. Strange. Hard edge to this pool, like something was here and got moved. Something square. Still a little sticky. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence so he did kill himself interesting hopefully they're together now about all we can hope for at this point
go. Alright. Guess that's it. Uh, come on. Oh wait, closet. Hello. Ooh! Stay here! No! because the uh, letter was the number was moving <laughs> failed that one Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? A man's dead. I know how it looks, but I had nothing to do with that. Bullshit. You're covered in blood. Look, I was just asking him about the girl, that's all. When I mentioned her being dead, he freaked out. I figured someone had told him. How was I supposed to know? Shit. Fucker shot himself right in front of me. I couldn't stop him, man. That's a lie. You're looking for the woodsman, right? I know where he is. My guy says he's holed up at the trip trap. We can go over there right now, the both of us. My employer's looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> Welp. He almost looked peaceful. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. Guess we're out of options. D mentioned the trip trap. Then that's where we'll go. I'll call a cab. I am the worst detective. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. 
Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. It's an uncomfortable feeling. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. I don't know if he is. That's why I need to talk to him. I don't have the whole story. Maybe he has some information that can help us out. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. Thanks I wish you. there was... <laughs> Sorry. I was just going to say thanks for the help. It's been appreciated. That's all. Of course. I'm just glad I haven't been in the way. Far from it. Adorable. So... It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to... prostitution. I... I wish there was more we could do. I wonder if Lawrence was This the isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. You're doing your best. It's all anyone can do. Obviously, you don't know what I do all day. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it, wasting his time. You'll fix it. Oh, hi, dog. Is dog in my know. room? It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but... By much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. Well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Nice thing about this is that it's a prequel, so I know that Snow. Yeah, maybe you that, should uh, handle this one. Snow White won't die. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. Unlike in Walking Dead, when characters I actually liked could be often about five minutes Big later. B. I um, just be careful, please. Same goes for you. I will. They're totally gonna do a bar fight. I just know it. What do you want, Sheriff? 
I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. I doubt that. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just want to know the last time he was here. That's all. So Who? Is that a tattoo or a scar? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. Well, that ain't true. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. A lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. Regular? I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Uh huh. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, feel free to get the fuck out of here. I'm sensing a very hostile tone from you. Don't deny it, but I'm good at picking up on this stuff. I can smell your fear. Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Yeah, me too, Bigby. A lot of stools in this place. But there's only one right next to you. You gonna order something, or you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. I think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of your... Welp. There we go. I wonder who that is. Holly, you're out of paper towels in the... Hello, woodsman. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. <laughs> you and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. 
Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. I just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Okay, Grant. Grant? Uh, I don't recognize that name. It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah. Well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> well, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. <laughs> it's funny. The shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. She wouldn't put up any kind of fight. Uh. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. Oh, okay. And the night I That's... finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah. Her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. Wait, what? I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because oh. I thought she might give me a reward. Okay. But she didn't give me shit, except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. Not a good that did. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. Only comes sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Big B? It's not like that. There are problems with the way things go, I get it. But that's got nothing to do with what's happening right now. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. <laughs> Only one choice. That all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Alright. What? Oh, good. Oh, dear lord. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. I don't like that. Come on. You're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> this doesn't seem fair at all.
to tear off his arm. whiskey. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. Oh, now what? All right. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. You wouldn't hurt me. You said you wouldn't run. Shit. The guy's covered in blood and you let him go? No one asked you. Ah! Come on. You're under arrest. I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Oh, uh, really hope I made the right choice on that one. <laughs> oh, I am the Eggman. <laughs> I just now noticed that. Oh no, now what? Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. All right. Never ends. Ah, oh, crap, not again. Telltale just go alternate universe on me. But wait. Huh? 
Uh, that can't be we right. We had something very special. No, I don't... Who else is involved? The girl with the coat. Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh god, and it's one of us. Wait, the big fat guy's still walking the streets. We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I oh, know she's hello. here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Not saying anything. Doesn't matter. Maybe you just want to plunge someone. We can arrange that. <sighs> what did you do? Uh, friend on friend. At the end of the end. Jesus Christ, Bigby. Is that you? I have a feeling that the people who I think are dead are not actually dead. But I can't be sure about that. Alright, let's see how many people agreed with me. Okay, 90.3%. 64.9, lied to Beast, 83% went to help Toad first. You did not prevent Prince Lawrence's death, okay. 21% picked the woodsman. woodsman. Huh, interesting. Only 32.1% of players grabbed the woodsman. Fascinating. Well. Alright, so that was the first episode of Fables by Telltale. Pretty fun. And I think this is just from the credits. So, uh, thank you for watching my stream. Um, I will probably put the whole thing up on YouTube probably tomorrow. Or Sunday, who knows, whenever I can get around to it. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will probably stream the next episode when it comes out. I'm guessing a month from now, if the uh, if Telltale keeps their normal schedule. See you later.